Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome to Tag Tuesday. Today I want to do the book acquisition tag, the book acquiring tag. It was created by Kristen over at uh, the channel Enter the Book. Uh, Kristen is a lovely person with a great channel. Her, her reading tastes and mine don't always line up, but I do enjoy uh, watching her videos, so I'll leave a link to her original down below and you can go check that out. Uh, this tag is a little similar to a tag that's existed in the past. I'm, it's almost impossible unless you, you know, come up with a tag about reading in the bathroom, I think. It's almost impossible to come up with a truly original tag. This tag, though it's similar, I think takes a different approach and asks some different questions and Chris was kind enough to tag me, so I wanted to make sure I did the tag. So. One of the things about the tag is it has a lot to do with kind of planning and how much you think about your reading, which you're about to find out. I don't do a lot of that. So prompt number one, do you plan your book purchases ahead or impulse buy? I plan. Uh, I don't like to, uh, I don't mind, I like spending money on books. It's not, a, that's not an issue, but I'm still kind of thrifty. I don't want to buy a book that I'm eventually going to regret uh, having bought. So I, I usually do plan. Um, I did recently go to a small bookstore when I was out of town visiting my daughter uh, and just browse the shelves and I actually bought a book, uh, a book that I've been meaning to buy for a while and I found a copy there so I did. So it does happen but mostly I plan. Prompt 2 says, how do you decide what books to buy? Uh, I listen to the reviews of other booktubers a lot. There are booktubers here whose opinions are similar to mine or tastes are similar to mine. Uh, who I trust, who I buddy read with, who uh, talk about books in ways that are really interesting. Uh, I also pay attention probably to prize lists. Uh, I recently bought a whole bunch of books uh, from having to do with the Republic of Consciousness Prize long list, even though now I've seen they've already gone to their short list, so I'm definitely behind. Uh, and then I have favorite authors who I will always, you know, at least think about uh, buying a book from uh, Colson Whitehead, Louise uh, Erdrich, um, can't think of who else would be on that list uh, right now, but those would be two of those authors. Uh, prompt number three says, what is your philosophy on where you shop, online versus in-person, large versus small, physical, digital, or audio, new or used, etc.? So I don't really have a philosophy. I do try to avoid Amazon, um, and I do prefer to use bookshop.org. I'll leave a link uh, down below. I've mentioned them before. When you buy from them, not only are you not giving money to Amazon and supporting another uh, online book retailer who pretty much I think all they do is books, but they kick some of that money back to uh, small independent bookstores who are part of their network is kind of a good way to, in some small way, help out uh, local bookstores. Uh, the exception to the Amazon buying uh, is if I just can't find the book anywhere else. Uh, That's enough. It's enough. Stop. Go on. You get to. Go on. You don't get to be in here when you bark. Go on. Zelda. Get. You go by couch buddy. Anyway, the one exception to, after that dog interruption, anyway, the one exception to um, the uh, Amazon things, I do want a Kindle. Uh, and so I do buy books on Kindle, like I was saying, uh, with the uh, Republic Consciousness Prize books, which is, a, a Kindle is a really dangerous thing. The books are cheaper. You can get them instantly. Uh, that That's a real problem for me, I think, is if I have a reading problem. I think there's a question about that exact thing later. Um, let's see. Uh, I almost always know what I want to buy uh, when I go to a bookstore before I go in. I do go to used bookstores, and in used bookstores it's possible I make more impulse buys because the risk or the, the cost is is uh, lower, uh, but I usually do have a plan. I usually have a list of books that I, are authors I want to read, and I consult that before I go somewhere, or I know a very specific book I want to read. Prompt four, what, do you th what about little free libraries? What do you think about them? Have you used one? Why or why not? I think they're great. Uh, I have never really used one. I've looked at a couple around here. There are really only three anywhere close to me, and none of them have ever had a book that I wanted. Uh, I do plan to use them as a place to uh, get rid of some books that I have hiding behind the books there on the you can see on the shelves, because uh, there's just no reason to have a lot of those books. Um, prompt five. 
how do you feel after acquiring a book? Do you share, like, in a book haul or a diary? I don't do book hauls. I don't really keep a reading diary, even though I did before I got BookTube. Now BookTube is kind of uh, my reading diary. I really enjoy the, the is it frizzing? Is that the word? Uh, of having a new book and anticipating reading it. Uh, and kind of ha knowing it's there, um, there's kind of a, a small amount of excitement to that. And since I'm always reading a book, I always have books on the go, I always have to wait uh, when I get a new book before I read it. For instance, I've been waiting uh, to read uh, the last book in uh, Jan Foss's uh, septology uh, called A New Name uh, for more than a month now. And it's kind of killing me, but I'm going to get to it in April. Uh, prompt six. Uh, how do you feel looking at your books that you haven't read? Does it matter? It, is it does it matter if it's currently a lot or a little amount? It doesn't matter to me at all. I don't keep track of things like that. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Question seven is related. Uh, how do you decide um, what number of unread books is the right amount? I don't. I don't care. I like having unread books on my shelf because then I always have something to read. Uh, something I bought at some point that said, hey, you want to read this? And so having that book on my shelf is just, uh, having those books on my shelf is just great. I, I don't worry about it at all. I consider, you know, this to be my library. And when I go to the library, I haven't read every book in the library. Why should I have read every book on my shelf? You know, they're there for me to read uh, when I get around to it or when I want to. Or, you know, if I choose, I guess never. Uh, prompt number, what was this? Prompt number eight. Do you have a TBR game or process for reading them? I do not. Problem number nine, uh, do you have a book buying problem? If so, what's the nature of it and can it be adjusted? My book buying problem is only when it comes to Kindle and I have a tendency to buy Kindle books kind of in bunches. Um, I really like Kindle for buying uh, classics even though you have to be kind of be careful. If you go with the cheapest version of a classic on Kindle, sometimes they're not paginated correctly and they're just kind of a nightmare to read. Um, but I, I don't think it's a big problem that I have to adjust, but you know, it's there. Prompt 10 is to tag two or three others uh, to ponder their book buying process. I'm going to tag two relative new channels to me. I'm going to tag Quentin, Quentin uh, over at Idget Reads and Rambles. Uh, Quentin is new. He is a, a much younger than me, a Canadian uh, man who I just uh, have watched a few of his videos and I think he's really interesting. He doesn't have a lot of videos, doesn't have a lot of followers. Go check him out. And then I want to tag Caitlin Bandy at Bandy's Books, also a new channel to me. And Caitlin oftentimes cooks and talks about books and has recipes, which is just really great. You should go check out both those channels. So I'm going to tag both of those and hope they do the tag. Uh, anyway, there you go. There's my tag, the book acquiring, book acquisition tag. Uh, thank you again, Kristen, for tagging me. Uh, and look forward to your comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.